Hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> Don't shoot the fire extinguisher though. Hello and welcome to another video. Today, I'm very excited because we are gonna be blow torching donuts. So I was bouncing around the internet and I found this bakery that makes creme brulee donuts. And what they do is they use a blow torch to burn the sugar onto the top of the donut. And I thought, I want a blowtorch. So I got a blowtorch. And I also found a homemade creme brulee donut recipe. So we're gonna use that blowtorch and we're gonna incinerate ourselves some donuts. We're gonna make them sizzle. Now quick preface, we're gonna try to be as careful as possible. So we have all this good safety equipment right here. We have these gloves, we have these goggles, we have this fire extinguisher right here. We're gonna keep the blowtorch on the side for right now. This is our general warning. Obviously blowtorches are not toys. Hopefully we won't burn any eyebrows off, no skin, no nothing. But in general, for this video, do as I say, not as I do. Is that how it works? Yeah, that's, there you go. That's the preface. If there's a warning, we'll, we'll put it on real quick. Warning, don't play with blowtorches, blah, blah, blah. So we have our ingredients for the creme brulee donut right here. They're all ready to go. We're gonna make this thing. We're gonna blowtorch it. Let's do it. We're gonna start by making our dough by combining flour, salt, vegetable oil, and one egg yolk. It's like a little glutatama in there. To make the dough rise, we're gonna make a yeast mixture, which will include water, sugar, and dry yeast. And then I chugged that, right? This video is actually how Tyler went to the hospital. You thought he got burned, but he actually got yeasted. Is that what you're here for? Yeah. Saf, Saf is like an in-person troll right now. Nice. And I'm just gonna whisk it. I'm bad at whisking, so I'm gonna use my hands. All right, there we go. It's coming together. And now, I'm gonna start kneading it. A little flour bag. How many times are we gonna make that joke? A lot. It's like one of the only ones I got. I feel like I'm like supine slamming it. Like, like it's like a wrestling move, right? I'm like lifting it up, I'm like Oh, that's my lump, my lovely lady lump. Check it out. So we've saran wrapped this dough into this silver bowl and at room temperature, it's gonna rise by itself. So while that's rising, we're gonna make the custard over here, which is three eggs, sugar, and some cornstarch, and a lot of other steps. But we're gonna put that custard on top of the donut, and that's gonna be the creme brulee that we then blowtorch. The trickiness with this recipe is that we're trying to make creme brulee and a donut, and we've never made either before. I just wanted something to blowtorch, and now I have myself like making all these complicated recipes. It's just like, I just want to destroy it. So um, the joke's on me. Next, in a saucepan, we're gonna combine milk and heavy cream and heat it until it starts simmering. And while that's happening, I'm gonna check back in with my dough. Is that thing rising at all? That's gonna be a good time lapse. <laughs> Once simmering, we're gonna add our milk and cream back into the yolk paste and combine them. Then we're gonna return to medium heat and stir it until it thickens into a custard. Okay, so we've been stirring this thing for a little bit. This is the money step. If we don't do this right, it turns into scrambled eggs, apparently. Once that's custarded, oh, it's custarding for sure, we'll put it in our mixing bowl and add some vanilla. Oh, that smells amazing. Then we're gonna cover it in saran wrap and let it cool. And from the ashes, giant Fudetama is born. So we let this concoction cool off just a little bit. We're gonna put it into the fridge and I think it's gonna become creme brulee. Is, is that right? Now checking back in with our dough, we've transitioned the time lapse to Tupperware because we were not convinced that we had it airtight enough. And to be honest, it didn't do shit. So our hopes for a yeast time lapse are pretty much shot. Listen, Casey Neistat makes time lapses of New York City. We make time lapses of yeast. I was trying to work yeast into Neistat. I was like, well, Casey, yeast nat. Beast tat. All right, get out of here. So I'm not super convinced that this dough rose a lot, but I think we did a good job with the custard, so I think we should be okay there, and that's where the real blow torching action happens. So we're gonna take this dough out, we're gonna shape them into donuts, we're then gonna let them rise just a little bit more, and then we're gonna fry them up. So we're almost finished with making the donuts. They look like wrinkly belly buttons. So we're going to saran wrap these up, and hopefully they'll rise a little bit more. Sleep well, my friends. Tomorrow, there are bright things in your future. I mean like in a couple, in like 20 minutes. I was using like donut ears. So we've left our donuts alone for about 30 minutes. They haven't risen all that much, but let's just throw them into the fryer and get that good blow torching action going. Oh yeah, he's frying up. I don't know if that looks like a donut, it looks like a croissant, but uh, it's fried. They look like bagels, dude. Listen, they're not the smoothest donuts, I'm not gonna lie. But they are dough, and it is fried, and they're about to have some custard on top. And with custard comes blowtorch. Okay, I'm very excited to see how our custard came out. I think the donuts are okay, they're workable, but the custard I think we did a really great job on. So, let's take a look. So let's take this. Ooh, 
Ooh, look at that custard. Oh, that looks so good. I could eat that straight. So we're gonna mix it real quick to get it back to a creamy consistency. So now we're gonna put it into a plastic bag and then we're gonna cut the corner of the bag and use that to shoot out the custard onto the donuts. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm gonna flatten it out just a little bit across the top. They're like little volcanic islands. We finally have the custard on top of our donuts and now we have to put some brown sugar on and then burn it. So we're goggling up, we're safetying up right now. The eyebrows, are they exposed? I don't think they're going anywhere then. Real quick safety tips and how to do this. So there you go, that's how you should do it. Those are the instructions we're going by. We're gonna do this. The moment we've been waiting for. Oh shit, yes. Oh, that's coming so nice. Oh shit, it's on fire. Dude, we're gonna definitely set off the smoke alarm. So my current take is I might be burning these donuts. So I'm gonna go a little bit further away on this one. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a couple in a row here. This little line. Was that okay in the safety instructions? It is now. By the way, it's completely fogged up in my goggles. I can't see anything. So <laughs> I think it's a sweat. Maybe it's adrenaline. I don't know. Let's do this. Oh, oh. yeah. Ooh. Ooh, with a big mountain at the top. <sighs> that guy is sizzling. Oh, yes. That was the best one yet. It smells like s'mores. Does it? Yeah. It does smell pretty damn good. Transition. What? Let's just get the final round here. They look good? They look really good. So, Sophia, we have blow torched these donuts. I know, I saw. You filmed. We're gonna cut one in half and try it right now. And then I have a surprise afterwards for some more blow torching. Oh. Because we're not done with the blow torch. I feel like I'm a little confused as to like what creme brulee really is. Like it's almost like the custard is the creme and the burned stuff is the brulee. Like it's burned cream. Oh, that looks good. Can't get through the donut though, nope, can you? That's barely a donut, right? It smells really good. All right, you ready for a bite? All right, cheers, ready? One. Yeah. Let's do it. That is so good. That's great. <laughs> he walks off in triumph. Improbable victory. The donut is like, a little tough. It's a little bit more like a roll, but it tastes good. It tastes like s'mores, to be honest. It tastes and smells just like s'mores. I think it's good. I if think... anything, I was a little too blowtorch happy. Oh. Just a little burned on top. All right, so I said we had a surprise. So today, we went out and we got some voodoo donuts that we can then also blowtorch because we're not done blowtorching. So we're gonna grab the pentagram, the voodoo guy, the marshmallow one to get some real s'mores action, and the M&Ms. Now for the creme brulee donuts, that was an actual use of the blowtorch for donuts. This, we're just blowtorching donuts. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, ho, ho. <laughs> and those things are crisp. It's like a campfire out there. Look at that thing go. Oh shit. Did you see the train move? <laughs> That's what the train kind of jounced a little bit. Wow. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Should we try it? We gotta, why not? I don't really know what it tasted like before, but that's damn good. <laughs> I mean, I it's a melted marshmallow on top. What? Yeah, give me a little marshmallow. I don't think that tastes very good. <laughs> it tastes kind of like a hamburger. Ready? Oh, me? You wanna do it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nothing's happening. Ooh, the sprinkles are burning. <laughs> this is what hell looks like. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Black and death. <laughs> All right, we need to get you away from the <laughs> torch. <laughs> that one's not gonna be that easy to eat. Not bad. Mmm. Now that's good. That's devil's food cake. <laughs> so now that we all feel uncomfortable, let's do soft second choice. Oh yes. Die, M&Ms, die. Wow, they're on fire. This donut's on fire. <laughs> oh my God, that's a campfire. Do not, do not. <laughs> You're gonna ruin it. BB, get out of my laboratory. <laughs> You tall blonde bitch. <laughs> Sorry. This is really fun. We are losing sap. No. I'm gonna set off the smoke alarm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think we should eat that, that one. That one you destroyed. I feel great. Are you okay. I feel like my stress has been relieved. 
This one looks dangerously inedible. <laughs> Let's just see what it looks like inside. I mean, it looks fine. That looks fine to you? It looks like, you know, what you find under the grill at Outback Steakhouse. Yes, but... it does. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> some ash just flew off. You can't eat that. Just a little bit on the side. Yeah, I wouldn't eat those. Yeah, spit that out. <laughs> now for the moment that we've all been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for. This is Voodoo Donut's signature donut. In fact, I think it's their mascot. So let's blowtorch him. Oh, oh God. I get the pretzel a little bit. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, lift off, lift off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's something so satisfying about this. When you just see it start bubbling up, the sugar. You know, before we're done here, though, I think we could go a little creme brulee action here. Get a little sugar back on, and voila. That's a voodoo creme brulee donut. There you go. That's an interesting looking thing right there. I think that there's only one thing left to do, and that's to eat it. I think you found the jelly. There's a jelly! I think that we've definitely crossed the line from like YouTuber to like disturbing. Yeah, I mean listen, we've gone far enough I think. We blowtorch donuts. We made donuts we blowtorched. Yeah. So I think that's about it. I would say it's much more time efficient to buy the donuts and then just burn them yeah. than to make the entire donut from scratch. But they might taste better if you make them from scratch. Yeah, yours tasted really good. So I really wanted a blowtorch, and I gotta say, I think my dreams were just a little bit fulfilled. This met my expectations, but I'm a little scared of Sophia right now. Whatever that was, when she became Dexter and started screaming at Dee Dee, I realized that I was Dee Dee. So that's it for donuts, but what we're gonna do is when this video goes up, we're gonna make a room and take your guys' suggestions of other foods that we should blowtorch. So the link for that room on Next Beat will be in the description below, so just jump over and check it out. Yes, and even if the video didn't just go up, the Next Beat room will still exist, so you can still click that link down there and watch us blowtorch some stuff that you guys asked us to. It's gonna be a bonus vlog. Now if you like that video, make sure you smash or gently tap that like button. If you want more videos like this, make sure you smash or gently tap that subscribe button. If you already hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell icon so you receive a notification every time that we upload. If you want more blow torching, make sure to check out our next beat. And otherwise, we'll see you guys a next time.